In our fourth subtopic, we have the half range series. So let fx be a periodic function of period to L defined on a half interval 0 to L. It is possible to extend the definition of f of x to other half minus L to 0 and then the new interval becomes minus L to L. So the extended function may be even or odd. Therefore, in the first case, if the function is even, it gives us half range cosine series where f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l and a0 is equal to 2 by l definite integral from 0 to l f of x dx and a n is equal to 2 by l from 0 to l f of x cos nx, uh, n pi x by l. Now case 2, if the function is odd, it gives us half range sine series. f of x is equal to summation of um, 1 to infinity bn sine uh, n pi x by l where bn is equal to 2 by l from uh, 0 to l f of x sine pi x uh, n pi x d uh, n pi x by l dx. So let us take a simple question onto this topic. Express f of x is equal to x as a half range sine and cosine series in the interval 0, 2. So the first thing that we do is that we extend this interval to the left side to minus 2. So it becomes minus 2 to 0 and the new interval will become minus 2 to 2. So extend interval to the left. So x belongs to 0 and minus 2. So what is your new interval? It will be minus 2 to 2. Okay? So half range cosine series. Let the function be even in the interval minus 2 to 2. Then it is a, then it's a cosine series. Okay? So then we'll get f of x to be a0 by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l. We'll get a graph like this. From 0, our limits are minus 2 to 2, right? The y-axis, our x-axis. And then we have a straight line. Why? Because our function is um, f of x is equal to x. That's nothing but y is equal to x, which is an equation of a straight line. Okay? So it will be like this. I'll extend it a little more. Yep. Then we have our a0. So this one happens, we use this when the function f of x has to be even in interval minus 2 to 2. Then it becomes a cosine series. a0 is equal to 2 by 2 from 0 to 2 f of x dx. That's nothing but from 0 to 2 we have x dx x is integration x square by 2 from 0 to 2 that is nothing but 4 by 2 that is 2 following which a n comes out to be 2 by 2 from 0 to 2 we are just applying the formula f x cos n pi x by 2 dx that is from 0 to 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled. x cos n pi x by 2 dx. On integrating by using Eilert rule and the UV method, we get x sine n pi x by 2 divided by n pi by 2 plus cos n pi x by 2. divided by 
n pi by 2 the whole square Fr uh, from 0 to 2. On substituting the limits, an comes out to be 4 by n square pi square minus 1 by n minus 1. There you go. So now we have the a naught and the a n values. a naught is equal to 2 and a n is equal to this. So now we'll put these into the main equation of f of x. f of x is equal uh, into this equation. Right? So our f of x is equal to 2 by 2. The summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity, 4 divided by n square pi square, minus 1 power n minus 1, cos of n pi, uh, n pi x by 2. So this is the answer for when the half range uh, is a cosine series, when the function is an even function in the interval minus 2 to 2. Now, we'll be checking the behavior of the function when the function is odd in the interval minus 2 to 2 and we'll get a sine series. So, when the function is odd, we get a sine series and our Fourier series will be f of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sine n by x by 2. Your bn will be 2 by 2 from 0 to 2 x sine n by x by 2 dx on evaluating the integral we'll be getting minus x cos n by x by 2 divided by n pi by 2 plus sine n pi x by 2 divided by n pi by 2 the whole square this is from 0 to 2. On substituting the limits, we'll get minus 2 n pi into 2 cos n pi. Hence, our bn is equal to minus 4 n by n pi into minus 1 power n. Cos n pi is minus 1 power n. So, our f of x, now we'll be substituting the values that we have got, is equal to minus n is equal to 1 to infinity 4 divided by n pi into minus 1 power n sine n pi x by 2 minus 2 and what will be our graph we'll again get it from minus 2 to 2 0 y axis x axis and we'll get it like this Take okay.